This is the Ductor continuing the Lone Wolf Series 2 playthrough. There is a contracting Lingholtz to kill some Hexit, so I really want to do that. Oh, and then a Three Skull Noble contract that spawned. Let's take this Hexen contract first, and then we'll check out that Noble contract. So now we're going to fight Hexen. Hexen are very serious opponents. We need to be well prepared. So the most dangerous combination is Hexen plus Shrats. Uh, for these contracts, you always have to be prepared to fight Shrats. Uh, the way you beat Shraxes is, is with axes. So I got one axe equipped here, another axe here. I swapped a long axe to my thief. Even though you have terrible melee skill, the ability to split shields is the same. And my main character now has a pike and a club for some stuns. I position my characters quite carefully to make sure uh, vulnerable characters like this squire is not next to anyone who's super dangerous. Well, I guess he's next to the cell sword, but uh, there's always going to be some danger one way or another. So good luck, buddy. In fact, you should use a, a heater shield. A little extra defense. That could save your life. Um, my farmhand, I've just given you a sword and a shield. You got plenty of defense and attack. These Hexen fights, you just have to be uh, pretty tanky. Uh, and you have the noble sword you can double slash. If there are strats, you're not going to contribute much, but the rest of the squad should be able to deal with it. A couple other things. Sir Conrad here has leveled up. Um, kind of need shield expert to tank, mostly because you don't want your shield broken too quickly. There are a lot of enemies that can break shields. The soldier who has the whip, I didn't notice you didn't have brawny. You definitely had fatigue problems in our fights. Uh, so Brawny is going to help a ton here with Battleforge. And I'm probably going to put some light padding on one of these Sellsword armors to further get that fatigue up. I want about 80 plus. That would be good. This uh, Houndmaster who I took the Polar Mastery, he's actually kind of working out for us. His stats are reasonably good. Keep in mind he has Gifted. So he'd be like 69. Whereas this Farmhand uh, with 3 stars is at 74 right now and they're both the same level now of course this gap is just going to widen unless uh, you roll very well on melee skill if you keep getting plus threes you know that's pretty good we could keep you i just i'm not excited by a character with no traits it's a little uh a little bland most of my other characters have traits right like you know this dexterous butcher who, uh, honestly, I don't think rode out great, but, you know, he's working out for us. The thief, the tiny thief with the amazing stats, the cocky sellsword, you know, Sir Conrad, obviously. Like, all these guys have some interesting characteristic. Hey, even a monk has a lucky and iron jaw. Like, I guess the fisherman's kind of boring. Um, soldier is bright, you know. Like, I guess the squire doesn't have anything except for his three stars, which is kind of a trait. But yeah, this Houndmaster is very generic. Uh, I just I, At this stage of the campaign, I want characters with more flavor to them. Uh, in any event, um, so your perk point, assuming you are Poarm spec, Poarm's combo super well with Pathfinder. And then this uh, farmhand I thought about, He's already got five levels. He's five levels in, and he has five more levels to go. And he's got some resolve problems. He's got the trophy, but he's still at 35. I'm going to put one into Fortify Mind here to patch your resolve up. One or two more levels of resolve should get you plenty of usable resolve. I think it's a. Uh, sometimes you just need a perk point to patch up a weakness of the character. This character is otherwise incredible. It's. Um, you might go Battleforge, you might go Nimble. I don't actually know yet. So nothing else here really jumps out. I might not need Recover, for instance. Nothing else really jumps out. I may or may not need Quick Hands. What I'm really trying to do with this character is I want to find a famed weapon and build you around that weapon. Uh, you're just like, there. you could do any sort of offense. Uh, like if you had a great sword, you could do great sword. If you had a... If we find a famed mace, we could go with mace duelists. Although, even without a famed mace, mace dueling is really good. Hammers are great, you know. Any sort of melee weapon could potentially be good. Except polearm. Polearm would probably go to the sellsword. But anything else, uh, even like 
a really good fame flail, you could do something like that. So I'm just looking for a fame weapon to go with you. I think that is all the port points that I care about. And I've arrayed my company in the traditional anti-hexen formation. Let's uh, just wait around until the hexen show up. I think all you have to do is stay around town. It is a bit of a wait, but I do want to kill Hexen for their loot. So, I don't mind the wait. We know there is something called the Slave Taker's Rest in the northwest of here. Probably in there somewhere. Oh, interesting. He, uh, this is a rare event in which a Hexen can offer me a vial that permanently, I think, buffs my fatigue or... Hit points or something like that? Uh, I don't care about that. I will never yield. Never! Dire Wolves. How many Hexen? That's the real question. I think it's three of them. That's pretty scary. What if I got myself up on that? High ground. I don't have bullseye. Sir Conrad. Oh, you can't actually reach the thief. But the thief is... Oh, you're not hidden. Okay, so I guess you have to move up to... Here, probably. I have the undead trinket on my hedge knight so I can go all out. Uh, I might move there. If I move there and get charmed, it's not a big deal. If I shoot twice, I just don't like that as much. I'm going to move here. Now I see Audrey Hexen. I'm going to end my turn immediately. I'm still within range. I don't think my resolve is that great, but it's good enough. I'm going to end my turn immediately in the hopes of going first next turn. As for my thief, one, one two, three, four. One, okay, so I, you have to move here at the very least. I equipped a crossbow on you. Um, let's see. There's eight enemies. One, two, three, four. Probably five. I bet there's a dire wolf there. No good shots. Let's wait and see what they do. That's okay. I resisted. That's fine. You want to charm my archer? Perfectly acceptable. Run, little buddy. I just put someone next to the archer and uh, he can't do anything. I have Pathfinder. One, two, three. Oh, whoops, I made a slight p mistake in positioning. I wanted to move everybody up together. Uh, but you don't have the buff. Eh, if you get charmed, whatever. One, two, three, four. Adrenaline doesn't really accomplish much here. Shooting the dire wolves. Uh, the squire, if you get charmed, is not a bad thing. If uh, my farmhand gets charmed, also not a bad thing. I gotta watch out here. This soldier is extremely deadly. Don't want to put. If you get charmed, that would be a really bad thing. Next to any character who's not a tank. So, you, my archer is handled. He might swap uh, my weapon to, like, I probably should have unequipped the uh, Goblin Pike, but it's not a big deal. Who's Hexen? 
I'm gonna be very careful not to put you next to a character who can't take it. I think something like this makes sense. Adrenaline doesn't really accomplish much here. Put you here in case I need some sort of rotation shenanigan. Ah, yes. Main character. Adrenaline would not accomplish anything. Yep, there's a dire wolf there. We see five, six, seven, eight, everything on the map. Beautiful. I move up here. I should move you up here. So getting ch charmed would not be such a bad thing. Oh, they hex me. Okay, don't attack those two is what the game is telling me. This squire I like. I'm gonna run you back. You're not gonna contribute much and you're just gonna die if you... Yeah, I was kind of afraid of that, but... That's fine. That is fine. I should have unequipped that. Okay, that's okay. Might double stab here, but it's not really a big deal. Don't actually want to repel you. Is there anything else I can do? Not really. Eh, I might get double stabbed. Not really a big deal here. Okay, that works. Just gonna shield wall. I don't know who he tried to charm. Fisherman. Ah, oh, good job resisting. All right, that one has lost her. Um... Um, what should we call it? Hex. Just knock you off to deal with you. I mean, that's basically dealing with you. All right, shield wall here seems good. Might get hit twice, but whatever. I have the armor to take it, kind of for a little bit at least. This could be a problem. I need to see what these dire wolves do. Okay. I want to see if, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that, is there a direwolf here? Damn, I was hoping I could, uh, see them from here. Pull out the throwing weapon. Be a little better. Okay, that is really, really bad. Why are my guys so accurate? Uh. Cannot lose that farm hand. Okay.
I should have kept you back. That was my fault. What can I do to counter this? That is my fault. I thought you'd be safe, but you need a heavier armor. Or And I shouldn't have equipped the Ancient Bladed Pike. That makes a big difference as well. I can rush your adrenaline and kill that wolf. <sighs> but what would that accomplish? Accomplish something. Can't run away. There's nothing to be done except to wait here. Okay. What I really need is to go ahead of that Houndmaster, which I can't do. And disarm. Ah! I should have thought about this more. Uh, the positioning. Okay. Well, there's a small chance I might be able to kill you by uh, adrenaline. And Pike, maybe I headshot you? It's not impossible. That was the wrong one! 11 turns, 16 turns, 14 turns. Oh no! I thought that uh, I just needed to get rid of one of these charms. I think my farmhand's gonna die. Ah, uh, poor play on my part more than anything else. Uh, there's nothing else to be done here. We just wait. That's fine. That doesn't really do anything. Fine. Five turns, three turns. I don't have taunt. I could pray for luck. I mean, now that I've dealt with one, the Hexen, and I am in range to deal with the other one, it's not so bad. I could, uh,. I could hope my dogs distract my men. Not impossible. Not impossible. Let's see uh, how smart the AI is. Furthermore, I'm going to quick hands to a net. Net you in the hopes that you'll try to break out the net. I don't know if they'll actually do it. But anything. I'm willing to try anything at this point. If I had rotation, uh, it would work, but I don't. Oh! Did I pick resilience on you? No, how did your charm end already? Okay, then I live. Uh, well, now... Th this net is, uh, silly. Can I tell by looking at the char- Oh, I don't even have control of the character. How did the charm end so quickly? I don't understand. There's definitely some stuff about um, about Hexen fights I don't quite understand fully. That was a big miss. 
That's fine. Totally acceptable. I will take that. All of these things are pretty much done. Okay, end your turn. Adrenaline doesn't accomplish anything. Because they have to hex up. And I can't attack them when they have to hex up. I'll kill my own guys. So I just wait. No need to adrenaline. I don't really see what that would accomplish. I could move here in the hopes of uh, killing two, but nah. Alright, Sir Conrad needs to banner up to make sure everybody's in range for a buff. This all looks very good. Alright, gotta move. Oh! I forgot about my own character there. Okay, you, that's fine. You have adrenaline. You can move up. That's acceptable. Okay, my farmhand needs to run out because that's the most valuable character. Houndmaster dies, whatever. Let's put my tank in the middle in case you need to rescue someone. kind of annoying okay if I shoot and miss I could kill myself I'm just gonna wait that's fine that's also fine now I kind of wish I had the net Gotta kill that one. Monk can go up and deal with the archer. Need someone to tank my... Oh god, this is gonna suck. Can't swap to the shield. Damn, that won't let me attack. What other tricks are there? Overwhelm times six? That doesn't seem very good. You're gonna move up and try to stab one of these two hex. You're gonna move up to deal with the archer. I could go here and swap to the sword. We just need to kill the hex as fast as possible. All right, now I can go for a stab. Yep. Oh, I missed. Thank you for tanking. All right, this should take care of you. Sure, with your shield wall. Run, you're too valuable, Mr. Farmhand. Oh, I can drill in next turn, but I'll only get one attack. So better to kill this hex. Uh, and then deal with you next turn. Okay. Fine. Poor doggo. But what choice do I have? 
The squire will keep you back now. I think we're good. Alright, that dire wolf has a cut arm sinew, so he shouldn't be able to do much. It's actually okay for the dire wolf to kill my dog there. Like, that was worth it. Um, and the main reason why it's okay is. In case, just in case, you never know. If uh, this hex goes, hexes someone, and then the dire wolf attacks the hex and kills my own guy. That would be very bad. Can I throw a melee? I, I don't know. But let's not risk it. We'll just uh, do the old axe. That's fine. I... This character has terrible melee skill. Wow, nice dodges. Unfortunately, with that hex on me, I don't want to attack him, but the fight's almost over anyway. Okay, that's annoying. Well, I really want to swing my axe is the thing. Let's wait and see what that Hexen does. Let's run you out since you can't take a hit. I can go here. You just uh, shield wall. It's nothing else to be done. Annoying. Alright. It's fine. Ish. That could really hurt my uh, poor arm guy, but. Not if I kill the Hex first. Well, I might be able to disarm. 37, that's not great, but it was something. Alright, this is what we do. Taunt. Tank. You can only slash once with this weapon. Better to use. Ooh, 57. That's not good. That's fine, didn't really do anything. Alright, now. You don't have a hex up. Beautiful. That took care of that one. Alright, good fight, good fight. Little scary there. I should have thought about uh, putting the farmhand somewhere else. Uh, not next to any of my characters who can actually do damage, but. Uh, got a little lucky there. Three Hexen are no joke. That's for sure. I shouldn't lose anyone else. Adrenaline, that wouldn't accomplish anything. Remember, my uh, fisherman's back. Why does it still say charm? That's obviously wrong. the sword is better wow there we go really can't adrenaline there so we're gonna adrenaline go first next turn stab it to death definitely a tough fight
Can I move and stab? No. Nice work. That uh, pike really came in handy there. A uh, little scary, but we got two nice pieces of hexen loot and a wolf pelt. I will take all of this. This is actually exactly what I was looking for for the taxidermist. All right. Oof. A little, uh, little scary at parts at certain points there, but we came through. Let's just make sure from here on out you actually have uh, real armor, like the cell sword armor. If you're gonna engage in anything even remotely risky. Uh, although the cell sword armor is still being built, so you're gonna fall. Fall to using that. Use that. Uh, let's repair the company shield. Some minor damage here. Not a big deal. Cool, let's do level ups. The squire. I don't like that plus one defense, but. The, your starting initiative is too low to go initiative. If this were two star, I would consider it. The hit points and fatigue though are both very, very solid. Plus four melee attack is definitely good. Get you the ability to learn. And I think that should be it. Um, What was I gonna do next? Uh, there is a slave takers rest Northwest up here. I think I wanna go here and then to Obsad. The, uh, that's, that's a barbarian camp, and I do need to kill some barbarian reavers. Oh, there's a three skull. What is this? Um, dragons and strats. So lindworms and strats. Yes, I can fight that. The question is, where is the ghost hills? Uh, this is a shockingly low amount of money. This is like 2,500 crowns. See, I want to know where the ghost hill is. I might do this. I'm not afraid of these beasts. I want to kill them, but I'm not going like out of my way to do this quest. Uh, I've learned my lesson about um, just accepting these quests willy nilly. Is there anything the Fletcher? No, not really. Should I sell off any of this stuff? Uh, don't need a strange meat. I kind of want to keep most of the rest of the loot. Right. They're all useful for one reason or another. I sell off that. Wow, the prices here are really good. 17 crowns to sell a wooden shield. That's actually uh, extremely good. I think I'll sell out two of the poison glands. I'll keep one around. What else can I sell? Mostly that's it. All right. Oh, the price for ammo is so low here. I should buy a stack. Um, Ghost Hills, where is that? If it's close, I'll do it. If it's not close, I don't want to do it. Uh, it's pretty close. Uh, but I really need to get to a taxidermist. Hmm. There, taxid there isn't a taxidermist around here, is there? No? That is disappointing. The only taxidermist I know is in Grunfrost. Hmm. I'm not afraid of those things, but... I kind of need to go to a taxidermist above all else. And then uh, I'll hunt beasts. Maybe what I'll do is I'll try to kill that slave taker's rest. Go to Albzad. See what's there. Then head to Wizendorf Grunfrost. And if we come back and that quest is still around, I'll do it. It's just kind of out of the way. If it were like down here, King Mill or whatever, I would snap take it. It's not even a question. Uh, because it's on the way to Grunfrost. But this is the opposite direction. Don't really want to do that. Uh, let's go find the Slave Taker's Rest. I s still need full stack of those Barbarian Reaver throwing weapons. Where are they? Um, what is this? Farmhand monsters, perhaps one of the darmest individuals you've ever met, but for a brief moment, it disappears. Soldier, it's through to him, teaches thing a thing or two. 
Uh, the soldier tries to teach the farmhand. Well, what happened? Did he lose his uh, thumb? No? I don't really understand. I guess it's just a taught farmhand master something. Okay, well, that's nice. That's nice. I mean, you're still dumb, but you know what? Why not like a temporary buff? Wouldn't it be nice if that event gave you a temporary buff like next battle gain plus 100% experience? That would be a nice little touch, but... Yes, this is exactly what I want to fight. Mini Barbarian Reavers. Because I desperately need their drops. And then we'll hit to Alpstad. Alright, Mini Reavers. Uh, don't forget they have throwing weapons. Uh, we'll reorganize the company in the traditional manner. Uh, I'll pause. In fact, this is a good place to end the episode. Thank you for watching. Until next time.